Hey everyone, Michael Dudley with Good in Health. Think about this for a second. How would you respond if somebody asked you, why do you want to live? That's the exact question that our care navigator, Laura, was asked by a patient in November in this next patient success story. As a background on Good in Health, we are hired by a primary care practice to be able to reach out to their patients every single month, provide education, coaching, and accountability to help those patients make lifestyle changes, ones that keep them out of the hospital. Now, in this story, Care Navigator Laura had been working with Jane for a number of different months. Jane suffers from severe depression and anxiety. So when Laura called her in November, Jane opened up about feeling defeated lately. Laura had some great coaching advice, uh, encouraging, encouraging Jane to get on a routine when she takes her medication every single day, and even walk through a few different therapy options that Jane could pursue. As they were wrapping up, Jane says, hey, before you go, I have one last question. Why do you want to live? I don't know about you, that would catch me off guard. I don't know how I would personally respond. And although Laura doesn't get asked this question every single day, these are the moments that she thrives in as a care navigator. She shared her reasons, being her family, and just thinking about everything that she would accomplish in her future. Laura reminded Jane about her strengths, her positives, followed by what sounded to be, a through the phone, a smile and a joyful laughter. Jane apologized multiple times for taking up so much of Laura's time. Laura reminded her, hey, feel free to take as much time as you need. Uh, and next time you think about this type of question, feel free to give me a call anytime. Laura was literally fighting off tears as they hung up. Well, I <laughs> safe to say Jane might have been thinking about all the things that she could have accomplished in her future. Uh, she did decide to get on a keto diet in December, and uh, as of January here, she's lost 10 pounds over the last month. So kudos to Jane, but I think part of it has to do with that response that Laura gave her, thinking about everything that she could accomplish in the future. And it's that type of framing that is so important to be able to help people make lifestyle changes. Lifestyle changes are not easy, especially at the age that most of us are wor working with patients at that Medicare age. But I think that's so powerful, uh, just reminding somebody that uh, why they're there to live, uh, taking it personal, and encouraging them to go out there and to accomplish their dreams no matter what age they are. So this is uh, just one of many patient success stories. If you'd like us to repeat this success with your practice, with your patients, uh, give me a call, send me an email through the contact information here in the description. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful day.